I never, never spent such an evening. My dearest Albert sat on a footstool by my side and... Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, mother. How salacious of you. Am I supposed to be able to work through this commentary? I think the purpose of the exercise lends me to believe... No. <sighs> Wonderful. He clasped me in his arms and we kissed each other again and again. His beauty, his sweetness and gentleness. Are you enjoying yourself? This will be the death of me. Well, you do not have to read it. Really, how can I ever be thankful enough to have such a husband? Randy old bat, wasn't she? I see no matter with chronicling one's intimate affairs with their dearest partner in a private journal. Or would you rather have had her run it as a column in the Gossip Rags as you do? Any word about me in the Gossip Rags is merely a story. Slander. Libel. To entertain the masses. Once is a story. Twice is slander. But I would say on the weekly is... Well, no one can say you aren't entertaining the masses. I'll have you know that the reputable papers have actually had quite good things to say of me as of late. Oh, yes. I think I read something about that. Not a complete embarrassment was the phrasing, I believe. Mm, they're calling me the uncle of Europe. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I'm a political, diplomatic and military success. My deepest congratulations. Just thought you'd like to know. No mention of the plethora of fights before the wedding, then? Or the infinite number after? Do not exaggerate, Bertie. And you don't do whatever the opposite of exaggerating is. You know as well as I that from the moment they entered domestic life, neither got the fantasy they wanted. Just because there were occasional familiar spets. Oh, allow me to present evidence of the most primary sort. Thursday, the 24th of February, 1848. Albert spent the morning with the children. I spent the morning with the ministers. And neither one of us spent the morning speaking to the other. All is calm and everything is right. Each child trained and perfectly polite All is planned from morning until night Tell me what we'd be without my Buckingham system Papa, Vicky hit me Papa, Bertie spit on me Children, we do not spit or hit or do any such thing We are royals of England, not animals of the woods Bertie started it No, Vicky started it Ah, but I have finished it each one preened like grapes upon the vine Each one poised and perfectly refined Like cocks in clocks in sink and leech in time A horrid life we'd live without the Buckingham system This way, children, time for our lessons Vicky, Bertie, Alice too, Helena, Alfred, a baby soon Little royals born to reign, little royals to be tamed Tempered, taught, and all in training, calm, content with no complaining But a treat to live within my Buckingham system Guten Tag, ich heiße Prinzessin Vicky Very good, Vicky. Now Alice Guten Tag, ich heiße Prinzessin Alice Show offs Now Bertie, you try uh, guten tag, mein ich heiße Prinzessin Bertie. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing at me? You called yourself Princess. Bertie's a princess. <laughs> Children, that is not nice. Bertie, try it again. Why? So they can laugh at me more? No, so you may get it right. Like this. Guten tag, ich heiße Prince Albert. Shouldn't you be a king? Bertie? I know if I was married to a queen, I'd want to be a king. Yes, well, we cannot all be kings. No, I guess you can't. Boxes, papers, and a war more work and worry than before. Crisis seized from far and near, let alone the chaos here. How does one be queen and mother when one likes one from the other? Sweet relief that Albert loves his Buckingham system. I worry about Buddy. He's lagging in his studies and his attention is impossible to keep. We must do something. I trust you can handle such a task. I find I'm quite overcome with matters of state as of late. Victoria. He would greatly benefit from your attention. He needs to learn to be a king. 
Well, at this very moment, I am quite busy being a queen. Victoria, your children need you. What is it you have of me? Fortress in the nursery. Forsake my role, forget I'm queen of all England. I'd suggest you be mother in your home. Oh, don't pretend you're doing it alone. And don't pretend you're doing it at all. Don't accuse me. Don't refuse me. Do not claim that I abuse you. Everything is just to please you. I do not have to listen to I do not have to listen to you. Unreasonable. Mum, sorry to interrupt. No, it is no trouble, Mr. Brown. What is the urgency? I have been asked to inform of word that has arrived from France. King Louis Philippe has just been deposed by his own people. Heavens, what a most heinous occurrence. What a most heinous world. Every time I watch you rip up those pages, it's like watching my own guts be tossed out for pig meal. How colourful. I do my best. Why are you so displeased in their happiness? Why are you so pleased in leaving only happiness? That is the essence of it all. The other moments were just... Life, Beatrice. They were life. You did not know them. Not together. What do you even remember of father? Enough. Yes, well, I remember everything. In between your happy little tableaus, there was shouting, and when there was not shouting, there was silence. And in the silence, there were footmen running the halls of the palaces with messages so they could shout at each other that way. And caught in the middle was a young prince with a father who wanted to be a king and a mother who wanted not to be a queen. And two parents who agreed on nothing but the fact that the heir they had produced was little more than an idiotic moron who was going to drive the empire of Britain into the ground. I see now why she left this task to you. You never had the pleasure of knowing the truth. Bertie! Friday, February the 25th, 1848. King Louis Philippe has abdicated and left Paris. The French are really a very ungrateful nation to forget in one day all the king has done for them these 18 years. We here in the safety of England can talk of nothing else but France. Bertie, Vicky, come with me in my engine. Mr. Brown, it is safe, they say. The guard is patrolling, sir. Oh, Papa, do come and play with us. Yes, Papa, come and play. In a moment, children. And they are unconcerned. There's nothing to fear? They have done everything short of clearing the park, which would quite defeat the purpose of this whole escapade now, wouldn't it? Papa, let us hide and you find us. No, Papa, you hide and we shall find you. Patience, children. I do not understand why you insist on doing this. With the situation, what it is. With the situation, what it is, to be seen is more imperative than ever, Albert. We are a happy family. We are unafraid of our people. Yet, if we must partake in this nonsense, we should be staying in the carriage. You, at the least. I should think I have managed to comprehend the art of walking while with child, Albert. Victoria, this is not safe. Papa, look at me. No, Papa, look at me. If you need someone to mother, Albert, you have two doting children right there calling your name. And three waiting back at the nursery if you wish to go home so presently. If you think I am leaving your side, you do not know me at all. Bertie, why not come up with a game for you and Vicky to play? She doesn't listen to me. Then this is a good time to practice leadership, then is it not? But I don't want to listen to him. Send Vicky. You come up with the game. All right. Oh, how clever. Let the future king forfeit rule. I would instruct him in proper leadership. If I did not fear, I had to instruct my wife on the matter of self-preservation. The guards have seen to a perimeter. Is it enough? It will have to be. That is not acceptable. We cannot let the English people think we are affected by the events in France. A king is deposed, and you say a queen should not worry. A French king is deposed, and so the English queen should not punish her subjects. The world is not at rest, my Naliba. Bertie, too violent, too violent, gentle with your sister. Goodness gracious. Such rhetoric can spread, Victoria. Such sentiments seed and grow in the mind. The past attempts taken on your life... Were dealt with swiftly. Past attempts can beget future ones when fueled by present anger. 
I must have faith in them as they have faith in me. You must have sense, Victoria. Albert, you are making this pleasant walk rather unpleasant. Then you will turn around. No, but I will just ask you to go home if you persist in badgering me. Victoria, I am not... (gasps) Victoria, the baby. It's fine. We are fine. The doctor said... What is it I should know about the plight of pregnancy, Albert? Please tell me. I am so poorly educated on the affair after partaking five times previously. You brush me off, but... Two, I am poorly educated on everything. Tell me how I am a terrible mother for walking in a park and a terrible queen for putting trust in my people. I'm sorry. I should not have been so direct. Let us leave this place, this horrid London. We could bring this new child into the world on the Isle of Fight at Osborne. Where it is quiet and where it is beautiful and where it is safe. There is much to be done here. There is always much to be done for a queen. But there is always a prince beside her to assist with it all. Albert. Ich liebe dich, kleine Frauchen. Mama, are you all right? She's all well, but we are going home. Bertie, come along. Why? Mama needs rest, and you need to... (laughs) Down with the leeches of London! Down with the parasite queen! Down with you, you greasy excuse for a man! Children, inside now, quick as you can, follow me. You're all right, yes? Yes, father. Yes, father. I want any and all information on that man. I want to know why he shot at my family, and I want to know it now. It appears, man, he was a mad vagrant. His gun had no bullets, stocked it with tobacco leaves. Victoria, let us keep our composure for the... Eight attempts were made on my life, sir. Eight attempts to kill me. Tell me why my people want me dead. How am I supposed to rule when they do not want me? What am I supposed to do? Just let them chase and hunt me. Believe me, sweet Victoria, I was frightened too. Tell me why you're frightened, sir, when they're not looking at you. Calm yourself, Victoria. You are safe with me. How safe can I truly be? Mr. Brown, have the carriage prepared for our departure. Aye, Mum. Victoria, you cannot be serious. We are going out again. The world shall see me rally. My presence shall be felt in every street and strand and alley. The villain shall see that they're not rid of me just by pointing a gun at my head. So gather the horses, the men and the chargers and start on our journey again. Victoria, this is madness. You're putting yourself in danger. You're putting my children this in is danger. This must be done. I will not be frightened away. Come now, sweet Victoria. What have you to prove? You will never understand. I handled it with dignity, grace and pure divinity All who saw me knew that I still reigned And what a comfort it must be to look outside and there you'll see A queen who is unharmed and unashamed I am young and I'm afraid Children, go with your governess. Yes, father. Mr. Brown, the carriages, please. Aye, ma'am. Victoria, we must leave the city. Osborne is not so... I cannot leave. Not now. Now is when we should leave, Victoria. I would not be myself if I were to run away. You are no longer yourself, one alone. Not one life, but two. Not two lives, but six who call you mother. And one who calls you wife. 
I too am mother to millions who will not understand if I run from turmoil. But do we not prize you more than they? What an insufferable sort of question. If you will not leave, pray let me help you. I am not useless on all fronts. I have never said you were useless. Then give me more. Give me something. You are struggling. You had your great exhibition and your work on the London sewers. Projects to keep me busy and out of your hair. Are you really to use this moment to rebuke me for how I have misvalued you? Victoria, I am merely attempting to be your consort. Consort with me. I share everything with you, Albert. Every piece of paper, every one of my boxes. There are no secrets you are being kept from. Yes, you shared with me, and then you ignore the advice I give. I weigh your advice the way I value all of my ministers. I should be more than a minister to you, Victoria. I cannot tell if your plea is to help me or rule me. Can you blame me if I want to be a master in my own house? Your house, Albert, is on the Isle of Wight. My house is the seat of England's throne, and I cannot give it to you, even if they wanted you. They? I have spoken cruelly. I I feel unwell. If you will excuse me. Who is they, Victoria? Who do you attempt to blame for my forced passivity? Albert, I do not want to hurt you. You wanted to but a moment ago. I must be careful what advice I take from you and how much of it for fear of... Treason? Insurgency? You cannot exactly usurp yourself. I have been accused of being too highly influenced before. I am merely attempting to keep the balance. I must rule, but not be ruthless. I must be collaborator, but not be controlled. I must be a monarch to make the world tremble, but English through and through whilst I do it. I must put together the pieces of monarchy in an attempt to build a queen that they don't want to shoot where she stands. But I cannot do that with you berating me about how I do not love you and value you enough and understand you. I am trying, Albert. I am trying to fit you in just right. But you are a stranger in a strange land, and they are wary of you and now wary of me. I am sorry I cannot give you what you wish. I am sorry I cannot be the queen that either you or England desires, but I am trying. Ma'am, the carriage is all ready for you. You are right, Victoria. I'm a stranger in a strange land. But I had hoped, after all this time, I was not one in my own home. I once was a child, I once was a queen. Now I am something that's halfway between The girl in the portrait is watching me Wondering who someday she's going to be All that I wanted for my little life Was just to be loved and to be Albert's wife The man who once loved me for what I thought Is begging me now to be what I'm not I'm an imposter in my own home Though I stand with him, I stand alone The face that I see staring back at me is one that I've never known. Why come to a country with nothing to give it? Why build a life and then choose not to live it? What? Can a man ever hope to be When he's lost in the shadow of sovereignty I'm an imposter in my own land Though I am a prince, I am barely a man The man that I dreamed I would someday be is someone I'll never know. I will wear a white gown and Did I will wear my black Did I forget, forget who I, I met, met 
turn to be, turn and see. Look at what you've made of me. Oh, I'm an imposter in my own home. Though I stand with you, I stand alone. The face that I see staring back at me. The person I thought you would be to me. The one who I loved in my childhood dreams. Is one that I'll never Of England's. Queen.